This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Kryptonite Keeper Disc Lock. This is a lock that's designed to be placed around the disc brake rotor of a motorcycle and secured into place by putting this small locking bar through one of the rotor vent holes. Once secured into place, this will prevent the motorcycle's wheel from turning, thus preventing someone from stealing the bike by either riding or rolling it away. Because you can damage the motorcycle by attempting to ride it while this is in place, Kryptonite has included a reminder cable that you're supposed to run from the lock to the handlebars. The idea is that when you see the cable, you will be reminded that this is locked into place and hopefully you won't inadvertently damage your own motorcycle. Opening this up is pretty easy. We just pop the dust cover, revealing a disc detainer core, insert the key, turn it 180 degrees, and the entire core pops up. And with that core comes the small locking bar. This is a key retaining lock, meaning that you cannot remove the key while the lock's in the open position. So to take the key out, we have to relock it and it comes out easily. Now you'll note that this is a four out of 10 security rating assigned by Kryptonite. And I was curious why it had such a low rating. And my best guess is the material that this is made out of. This is a very heavy lock. It is non-magnetic, ruling out most kinds of steel. And I took a small swipe at it with a file, and you can see it is a silver-colored metal. My best guess is that, that this is made out of die-cast zinc, which is relatively easy to cut and drill, and also has a pretty low melting temperature, which means you could probably remove this lock with a normal plumber's torch. In any case, if it were in fact zinc, it would certainly explain a very low security rating. We're gonna see what it takes to pick into this lock today. <clears throat> As I do when picking most disc detainer cores, the first thing I do is rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go. And I'm gonna be using this relatively inexpensive Chinese disc detainer pick. Okay, we're tensioning off of disc number one. So let's try to find number two and two feels loose. So on to number three, got to click out of three, click out of four, number five, click out of five, click out of six, and I think seven is happy where it is. Let's go back to the beginning. Number one is binding, and we open this up. Okay, so relatively easy to open. I did not feel any false gates in here, which is the same as what I experienced in the Kryptonite New York locks and Evolution. So I'm guessing none of the Kryptonite locks have false gates, which is really a shame because you can make these, these disc detainer locks a lot harder to pick if you did put them in there, and it's a relatively easy change to make. In any case, this is not a hard lock to pick into. And frankly, it's probably not very secure as far as the physical construction either. If in fact this is the cast zinc that I suspect it is, you can probably cut this off very, very quickly as well. In any case, that's all I have for you on this Kryptonite Keeper Disc Lock. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.